You should really bring the Knights of Favonius with you next time. Be on your guard, Traveler. Now is no time for sightseeing. Sound. Numerous eyewitness reports have confirmed an active ruin guard presence in this area. Our sergeant sent someone to find out just where these ancient machines might have come from. So, so did somebody wake them up? As, as I say, the, re the reason is still unclear. Moreover, the ruin in question is of the especially spooky variety. Strange noises are often heard coming from within. As such, we are not, not permitted to investigate until the order comes through from headquarters. In any case, the only sensible strategy in the meantime is to increase militia patrols. We must not let innocent civilians come to harm. That's a good point. Ruin guards are probably pretty dangerous for regular folk. Well, uh, I'm very grateful indeed for the offer, but... Oh, don't worry about that. This is one pizza for ruin guards for breakfast. <laughs> well, if, if you're j I did see some ruin guard footprints on the hillside. But since then, I've been too busy warning passersby to invest. Footprints, eh? Interesting. We'll take. While the middle list stands. Oh, 
Never seen one this close before. Have you ever seen one? You bet. Mr. Cyclopses are crazy strong. No bad guys can escape Mr. Cyclops. Oh, that's cute. Yep, my, my brother said so. And he's the best toy seller in the whole world. It's right now. He's at the Institute for Toy Research in Lua. That's where Mr. Cyclops has come from. It's always nice to meet someone else who likes toys. So tell me, where'd you get your toy from? Must be a pretty new kind, huh? I've never seen one that can fly and talk before. Yeah, but Hyman is not a toy. Greetings. Have you found anything? Oh, a child? We just, you know. Uh-uh. You shouldn't be out here, boy. There are killing machines in the area. Killing machines? You mean, ones that look like this? Precisely. And, and including this one. It's not moving now, but if it were to wake up... You take that back! Mr. Cyclops is not... Uh, um, we shouldn't be talking to this guy. If he's saying mean things about Mr. Cyclops, he's up to... Uh, I'm just trying to help. I've always been hopeless at dealing with children. Oh, well then, why don't you get back to your normal job and leave us to do the babysitting? <sighs> Seems I have no other choice. Very, very well. I, I will continue with my patrol. Please escort the child to somewhere safe. It, it's much too dangerous here. <laughs> the, the mighty Mr. So my name is too, sir. I, I came all the way from Snatchnaya to look for my brother and leave that. But, but I'm all on my own. You came all the way from Snatchnaya? Oh, I think this is... 
is the part where I give you this. Here we go. But what is it? Looks heavy. What the? My brother said I should take it with me. He said, find a nice person to give. Your brother makes a good point. Your family must be super rich. I never knew you could make so much more from selling toys. Yay! Thanks, nice guy. All right. Now, make a pinky promise. Keep it all your life. Break a pinky promise. I throw you on the ice. The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The thought frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Wow. That word nursery really kind of said you. Well, if we weren't your babysitters before, we sure as heck are now. But where should we look for your brother? Great idea! All right, off we go! All right! Finally, now...
miscalculated. That seems a little inappropriate, don't you think, sir? How can you... Relax. Once in a while can't hurt. It'll be fine. Huh? What is he doing here? Yay! My brother! I found you! I know that voice. Why, if it isn't my little brother, too, sir! My goodness! <laughs> what a nice surprise, too, sir! 
I thought I would have to wait till I return home before seeing you again. How are the others? Sister Tonia and Brother Anthon? Is they miss you a lot. Tonia prays for you every day at dinner. Wait a second. What are you doing here in Liyue, Tusser? How have I not heard anything about this? Well, what happened was, I saw a boat that looked like it was selling toys, so obviously I thought you were on board. And then, when I got off, I just kept walking and walking, and then... I found him. Mr. Cyclops scared off a bad guy, and then I found this nice guy to help me come look for you. Cool. Suddenly Paimon doesn't feel so bad about taking Tuzer's money. Tuzer, what you did was extremely dangerous. I'm so happy to see you, really, I am, but please, promise me you won't do anything like this. <sighs> okay, I promise. Please don't be mad at me. <sighs> I'm not mad at you. I just care about your safety, that's all. If you hadn't met these nice people, things could have been a lot more dangerous for you too, sir. Yep, I always remember my pl- Oh, so you did notice we were here. You were- <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, it's always family first where I'm from. Don't take it personally. I know we've had our differences up to now, but a few minor quibbles aside, we get on quite well, don't you think? <laughs> Come on, you know I'm just a pawn in all that, just doing my part. As for who wins, who loses, and how each side... I'm much more interested in who wins and who loses when it comes to our little sparring map. Mm. Sounds like you're ready to get your butt kicked. <laughs> you're forgetting something about me. I, Tartaglia, spend every second getting stronger. Don't expect to have it quite so easy next time. Whoa, 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 whoa. You aren't gonna fight now, are you? <laughs> Maybe not right now. Not while my kid brother is watching. Why do you want to fight the nice lady? Are you go No, not at all. Allow me to formally express my sincerest gratitude for taking care of my darling brother. His safety matters very much to me. Um, so anyway, Paima Tuser said something about you being a toy seller. What's that all about? Aren't you supposed to be one of the Fatui's harbor? Ahem, uh, yes, about that. Shh, look. I only told him that so that he'll look up to me. In the eyes of a child, working with toys must be the best job imaginable, right? I don't want my family to have anything to do with the Fatui's, or should I say Snezhnaya's, darker side. The older ones already know that I serve the Tsaritsa. But Tusser is still s- Ahem, as I was saying. I remain Snezhnaya's greatest expatriate toy seller, currently attached to the Liyue branch of our Institute for Toy Research. That's right! My brother's the greatest! He's Mr. Cyclops' bestest friend! Just humor me in front of two, sir, if you would be so kind. Ah, uh, yes, Ekaterina. I will deal with the issue of that outstanding payment right- Hey! Slinking off our- But, Master Child, would it not be a little improper to act- A bet is a bet, isn't it? Are you going off to sell toys now? That's right. As much- Ah, <sighs> so we still need to keep babysitting? Sure, I really like this guy. And anyway- Ah, well, it sounds like Tusser really likes you. And that you've already made a pinky promise to take good care of him anyway. Then I'm in your debt. Here, take this as Tusser's entertainment fund. I want him to have a good t If need be, you may find me by the river near Qingxiu Pool. I'll see you both around.
Looks like we'll be hanging out with Child's kid brother for a while. So, 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 where are we going to play first? Uh, how about we start with the toy store? Huh? What are those super colorful winged things? They're called kites. The kids in Leeway love them. Hello there, dear. You look like you've come a very long... <laughs> That's right. How do you play with these kite things, Granny? When the wind picks up, you let out the string and... Whoosh! The kite will fly into the air. Up! Wow, that's amazing! Do you have any Mr. Cyclops ones? Mr. Cyclops? I want to fly Mr. Cyclops high into the sky, so... Well, I can do custom builds, but I'll need some of my... Will this picture do? I drew it myself. I bring it with me everywhere. Hmm. I'll man it. Uh, we should be fine. Child was, um, but then again, throwing money around willy-nilly is, you know, kind of irresponsible. Well, um, so, yes, technically speaking, these funds are earmarked for Tooster's Entertainment. Either way, it's time to talk prices. This price is fair. Well then, I'll get that custom... <laughs> Thanks, Granny! Worry not. Just call For our next stop, why don't we head to one minute restaurant? I it would be a mighty more. crying shame to come all the way to Leela and never try the food. Hello, wow. welcome. Table for three? <sighs> this restaurant has a really a choking smell. A choking smell? Oh, you must be referring to a spicy chili? But I. Oh, what a pity. A person who can't eat spicy food misses out on half of life's joys. Is it really that bad? My meals have to have lots and lots of sugar. And the oil has to be extra virgin. Wow, we've got a real rich kid on our hand. Looks like Wanman Restaurant's dishes aren't to Tusser's taste. Maybe we should... Will that be all? Any more special requests? Uh, what do you mean, Chef Val? <laughs> Giving the people what they want is the very reason Wanman Restaurant exists. If I thought for one second that I couldn't make a... Di Whoa. There seems to be a lot of professional pr Then we'll leave it to you, Chef Mal. We'll be eating here after all. Sure. But let me say this first. Special requests are going to come. Of course, we aren't going to demand prices anywhere. Is it just Paimon? Or our premium cut still? <laughs> Surely there must be a little room for negotiation. <laughs> oh, you folks. Uh, let's go with this then. Any more haggling and we'll ruin the other custom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please sit wherever you like. <laughs> it was a little too sweet. I'm on... uh, I thought it was just right. Almost exactly like how my sister Tonya makes it. But this doesn't feel right somehow. Didn't we bring Tooster here to try Leela's specialties? Eh, whatever. So where do you want to go next, Tooster? I was so caught up looking for my brother when I first got here, that I... Good idea! The hustle and bustle at the wharf is a specialty of...
waves here always like this? Don't, uh, given Liu's climate, the area around the harbor's mouth probably never gets... Paimon is kind of the traveler's exclusive person. This place is Liu's commercial hub. Other than merchant vessels, many fishing boats and industrial transports dock here to replenish their, uh, fishery supplies and daily necess necessities, which, thanks to the immense throughput capacity of the wharf of... Uh, yeah. Paimon can't remember how the rest goes anyway. Well, guess Paimon will just have to explain this Paimon style. All the nations float their boats over the sea into the mouth. The harbor goes om nom 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 and has a taste of each boat and the cargo it has on board. Then, Lyra Harbor rubs its big round belly in satisfaction because it's all stuffed full of delicious mora. Hey, what's that big metal hook over there? I want to see. Wait, Tuzer, don't run off! Uh, after all that, he wasn't even li- That metal hook is huge! And it gets bigger the closer we get! This is an anchor. Dutch chips use it to- <sighs> An anchor. Got it. But I think I might get it mixed up with Commodore Hook. Commodore Hook? Is this an... My brother always sends me a really big toy for Commodore Hook. Black Steel Jack, Iron Tony. We keep them all in our backyard. Yeah, and that's why I can't bring them with me all the time. It's a shame. Wow. Using Fatui for... But suddenly, it doesn't seem so strange that Tuz... But my favorite has to be Mr. Cyclops. Even though I mostly came... Oh, are they selling fish over there? Let's have a look. Hey! Quit running off! Is this where they sell fish? Wow, Fisher and Leo are so small. Hey, whose fish are you calling small? Little kids shouldn't go around ruining others' business. He's just a curious kid. No need to get worked up. That said, these fish are actually pretty big by Paimon standards. Just how big are the ones you're used to, Tupon? Uh, maybe 200 times your size? There are legends in my hometown about it. It's supposed to be a super delicious fish. I told my brother about it, and he went out to sea to catch one for me. A few days later, he returned with a humongous fish slung over his shoulder. Anthon and I were so happy. Are you sure that was a fish? Paimon thinks it sounds more like some sort of leviathan. Let's go over there to see the boats. <sighs> What's wrong, Tuzer? Are you tired? I miss my brother. What? But we were just yeah, up for such a short time that it doesn't count. Take me to see my brother. I don't want to play anymore. Uh, yep. You can have all the patience. Well, we've played with Tuzer long enough, haven't we? Child said that he'd be by the river near Qingshu Pool. Why don't we look for him there? Yay! Let's go, let's go! Fresh fish. I'll get you fresh fish. Tell me. Will I find the right girl?
to the treasure hoarders? You know what I'm here for, I trust. Oh, you got lip. Making us guess, are you? If you want to join up, let me just say this first. Dandy kid like you, you ain't welcome. Oh-ho! Uh what a commendable imagination. Well, in the Tsaritsa's name, I suppose I should forgive you, country bumpkins, for your ignorance. For I am... brother that's so cool i've always wanted to watch you work uh, well why yes of course for uh, the greatest toy salesman in Snezhnaya. Uh, so cool huh you playing games pretty bo so will you buy or not the toys that Snezhnaya produced three months ago will run you yes six hundred thousand more the toys and wow is that what it's gonna cost <laughs> Look at that! Spreading joy and laughter to everyone! That's what toy selling's all- I'll say it again. Toys from Shnezhnaya, three months prior, 600,000 more up. Yeah, no. Sorry, salesboy. The same joke isn't funny twice. Or were you always cruising for a bruising? <sighs> Alright then. I'll make things a little easier for you. I'll join the treasure hoarders. Perhaps you'll be more willing to pay when we're brothers- <laughs> Would you listen to yourself? You think we just let any old person into the treasure hoarder? <laughs> well then, why don't you put me to the test, dear seniors? I like to think of myself as quite talented- Hmm. <laughs> Looks like you're not gonna pack it up until someone packs you in. Our truth be told, we've set up a shop here because there's a fine little loot cave nearby. But the tr- If you think you're up to snuff, why don't you have a crack at it on our behalf? <laughs> Come on. If we can't do it, do you really think this guy stands a chance? An initiation test, eh? Interesting. It's been a while since I've been assessed by some- The loot's on the opposite cliff. We're gonna hang back here and watch the show. Huh. No problem. Don't bl- Well, I have the goods. Here you go. So how'd I do? Pretty well, I- Brother, what do we do? This fellow isn't- Please, hold on a moment, sir. We need to discuss something. He ain't here for an initiation. He just wanted to show- Honestly, we'd be no match for him if he wanted to fight. Guys, do you think that maybe we're being robbed? I don't know. Surely, he wouldn't have come here all dressed up like that if he was only after us. Unless, maybe his words have hidden meaning. Snezhnaya, three months, 600,000. Oh, I get it. It was insider talk. I remember that the boss took out a 600,000 more alone from that Snezhnayan bank about three months ago, and still hasn't repaid it. So this guy must be the debt collector. But why didn't he just say so? What's with all the toy talk? <laughs> and that's where you're still green. See, in a lot of professions like this, people speak in code to protect the privacy of their business partners and clients. Makes sense. Owing money is pretty embarrassing. 
This guy isn't one to mess with, I tell you. He's a professional. Way too professional. So, Mr. Salesman, my apologies, but we can't have you joining us. Oh? I didn't pass? I must say, I never imagined that the treasure hoarders would have such strict interest. No, it's not that. What we mean is that you're too big a fish for our little pond. But we fully understand the situation with the... Uh, toys, sir. We'll uh, I see. Well then, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. We get paid, and everyone stays happy. A wonderful outcome, wouldn't you say? Uh, yes. That's my brother for you! Toy sellers are so cool! Ah, Master Child, you're here. A new batch of fresh recruits have just... Hey now, keep your voice down. Can't you see I'm entertaining some clients over here? Clients? Uh, well, anyway, the Motherland has dispatched a new batch of recruits to Liyue. Ah, do I have to? Now is hardly the best time. I must apologize for troubling you, Master Child, but they are already waiting for you south of Lingju Pass. Every new batch of recruits must be baptized by the Tsuritsa's will, through the words of her harbingers. This has all- At present, Master Child, you are the only harbinger in Liyue. Please. <sighs> well, all right, then I'll go. Do you have to keep working? Yes, too, sir. We have a group of new toy sellers fresh in from the motherland. Wow, that's great! When I grow up, I want to be a toy seller, too. Can I go listen? Hmm, I'm afraid you're still too young, too, sir. I'm not sure if you'd understand much of it, and most of it's rather boring anyhow. Why don't you go play with the Traveler instead? Sound good? But... but... I really do have to go now, too, sir. A lot of people are waiting to see me. I'll see you around, all right? Child really dotes on his brother. But now he's gotta ditch him again. Must be a really tough job. Yeah, you're right. He hasn't done himself any favor to think he'd go this far just to prevent his family from seeing his... dark side. Maybe. But he has good intentions, doesn't he? Wait. Uh, where's Tusser? Uh, we were too busy chatting. Where'd he go? Uh, seems likely. Either way. Let's head over there first. Thank <laughs> you. 